Here are my top three mosses that are super easy to grow in a terrarium. Stick around to the end for a bonus tip. First on the list is cushion moss. This is probably one of the most common mosses to use in terrariums, and I'm not surprised. It looks great, it's super easy to grow, and it's widely available online. The only downside I would give it is that it lacks that wild foresty look. This next moss is one of my favourites, and it definitely ticks the box for a wild foresty look. It gets its common name fern moss due to its miniature fern-like appearance. It's really easy to grow in a terrarium, however the only problem is, in low light it can grow quite leggy. A way around this is to frequently trim it. This will encourage it to grow more horizontally and less vertically. Next on the list is mood moss. Similar to the others, it's super easy to grow in a terrarium. However, its growth rate is on the faster side, so I wouldn't recommend using it in small terrariums unless you're ready to frequently trim it. As you can see in this terrarium, the string of turtles has almost been completely covered by moss. The fast growth rate isn't necessarily a downside, as you can always trim the moss and use it for other terrariums. And now for the bonus tip. If you're new to terrariums, it's a great idea to experiment with the mosses that you have easy access to. This could be in your back garden, growing on bricks, or even in gaps in the pavement. For example, here are some of the mosses that grow in my back garden. And although I'm not 100% sure on the species, I know they grow great inside terrariums. Now you know what mosses to use for your terrariums, watch this video to learn how to properly store it and keep it alive.